If you were to describe your efforts at sharing the gospel, whether at work or in the dorm at home, in one sentence, what would that sentence be? In other words, how comfortable are you uh, with sharing the gospel in front of people that don't know much about it? Are there subjects that you're afraid they'll bring up? Are there questions that they might ask you wouldn't have the answer for? Are you afraid of a politically charged environment and you don't want to tear the unity or drag the morale down? These are some of the reasons people don't share the faith today. In fact, about half of us say we have two or less spiritual conversations over the course of a year. So today we talked about a man in Mark chapter 7 who had a similar problem. He was from one of 10 cities that was populated mostly by Greeks, and the man was deaf and he couldn't speak. Literally, what the Bible says is he could speak, but everything he was saying was unintelligible. You couldn't understand it. It was blurred and confusing, cryptic. It was meaningless. But he kept trying to talk. They brought the man to Jesus. Jesus, in two acts, set the man free. He put his finger in the man's ears, and then he touched the man's tongue. And he said, be opened. And with that, the man's ears were opened, and he began to speak clearly. Suddenly, they could understand him. It was straightforward and uninhibited. Seems to me that this is exactly the condition of the church in much of America today. We don't listen very well. We can't hear, either from God or from our culture. We're not listening. We keep reciting the same lines within our echo chambers. And as a result of that, we don't have anything to say. The noise that we're making is unintelligible. It's meaningless, cryptic. It's indecipherable from anything else. And it might be that it's the world who actually brings the church to Jesus and asks him to heal us. It's possible. It might be that people who don't even believe in Jesus begin to pray for the church to have a miracle. So our ears are opened and our mouth is speaking clearly because they know that only a church alive who listens well and speaks clearly can really save the world. This morning, I am asking you to join me in praying for this miracle across our church, and not only our church, but churches all over America. Every time I get in religious circles, the Christians always believe that they hear clearly and they speak clearly. We really underestimate the distance between ourselves and the rest of the world. So would you join me in praying that God will open our ears so we hear fresh words from God and we hear what our culture is really saying and we know what they really need. Then, would you join me over the next few weeks as we start talking of different ways of speaking clearly to the culture that we live in. As you pray for that and as I pray for that, my heart uh, uh, is full of hope and optimism that God will move us into a new place so that once we begin to share the gospel, people will be overwhelmed with amazement at Jesus Christ and say, He does everything so well.